We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Hi there, I'm Nick Jr. with First Updates Now, and I'm here with uh, uh, a robot and three-day folks from the University of Michigan. I'm here with Kean, Travis, and Colin, and we're going to go ahead and learn about the robot and three-day robot. Kean, you want to start us off? All right, thanks. I'll start out with the intake and ball containment system. That's the, um, the intake is made of these rollers here, which are connected to an RS-775 with a 10 to 1 versa planetary. And that's just a really simple system that just takes the balls in like that. Um, and then the ball container is a, I forget which motor this is, it's a uh, Bainbots RS550 with a 16 to 1 gear ratio. And uh, these are surgical tubing uh, tied together that makes up the uh, band that draws the balls in. Um, and I'll pass it on to Travis here. Uh, so up next is our shooter. Uh, our shooter also uses a uh, Bainbots motor. Um, this is an RS7. Okay. With the Bainbots gear reps, yes. I I am not one of the hardware people, but I know how stuff works. Uh, this is connected to this chain, which runs up to our actual flywheel up here. Uh, we've got a number of different wheels on it. If you just want to spin that real quick. Uh, We've got our curved metal backing here for actually aiming it. Uh, it's currently calibrated so that it will shoot into the upper port from pretty much right in front of it. Uh, and yeah, that's the shooter. So I'll hand it off to Colin to explain our arm. Yeah, we went with a pretty simple arm design. Basically, we have a window motor driving an arm that brings up the hook. Once it's up, we run into the bar, hook detaches. We can draw in the uh, hook with our winch system until we're climbed. We have a sim motor with a 70 to 1 gear ratio through a Versa Planetary gearbox. It's enough that it doesn't back drive, so we don't need any additional mechanisms to do that. But like you can see, it's kind of a one-time deployment. Set that hook up, lower the arm, climb on up. Uh, seems to be working out pretty well for us. So, um, like I said, obviously you guys did build this in the three days right after kickoff. So, um, when you guys were going through the game and, you know, trying to really digest infinite recharge, what did you guys think that was one of the more difficult aspects of the game? And what was your mo what was probably the mechanism that you spent the most time on trying to develop? Yeah. Um, so, for us, we felt like there were a lot, there's just uh, quite a few elements of the game that combine to make the strategy more difficult. I think no individual task is particularly difficult, uh, was kind of our assessment. But when you put them all together, it's what do you prioritize? How do we spend our time during the match? Um, for us, when we, when we were actually in the build, I think we spent the most time debugging this uh, conveyor belt system. We had um, a quite a bit of trouble making sure the balls stayed in you know, had the right amount of compression. We had consistent problems with the belt falling off left to right. Um, and also making sure we align the balls. If they get too close, they jam up. If they get too far apart, we can't fit five in, so. Sure, well, thank you uh, from the First Alumni Mentors Network at Michigan. Reporting for First Updates Now, I'm Nick Jr. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.